Well, look at this brand new update for Monster Hunter Stories 2, introducing the Palamute Monstie, available to get for everyone across the world right now. I have been really excited about this update, and I really want to see how good these doggos are. I've loved the Palamutes in Monster Hunter Rise, and I'm happy to see the crossover here into Stories as well. Now, we can go into multiplayer to get these, but they're also available in the subquests here. And we actually need to do this before we can do the online version. Now, the rewards for this is a Palamute R and SR ticket, which is going to allow us to play the, um, the online version which is really good. So, hey there, Ryder. Heard about the recently discovered Palamute Den. I wanted to visit and bring a Monster Plus bone as a present. Bring some and I'll give you something good. Well, I already have all of the bones and wham bam, thank you ma'am. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. I assume we can just continuously hand those in, which would be really nice. Actually, it looks like we can only do it one time. Interesting. I believe there will be a lower level one for those that aren't in high rank yet. So let me know what you find when you go to the board when you log in. So now when we go to the online section, we can see two different things here. We can see Explore Palamute Den, which is going to be a level 5. Or we can do the Palamute Home, which is level 8. Since we're level 8, I want to do that. And we're going to select our rare ticket. I'm going to save the super rare ticket because I don't know how difficult it's going to be. Uh, but we'll pop into this rare one and see what we get. Now, when you decide to do this online, you actually don't need to play with another player. Uh, I just go, went ahead and loaded into one without a player and just got myself an NPC. And nice, we can get bottle caps from doing this as well. So make sure to loot those chests. I imagine we'll have a chance for more Palamute tickets inside of here too. Which would definitely be beneficial because if we can't redo that quest... Oh, hello. I would not like to fight you. Do we get a Palamute ticket from in here? Got a mounting charm. Like a Palamute ticket, but not. I guess the main thing I'm interested in is the types of skills that they have. Um, especially if they have anything good on them. That Ooh, we got an expedition ticket. R out of that, which is very good. I'll take that. We got an Arzuros over here. And we have to slay an Azur Rathalos here at the end of this one. So we got 15 bottle caps from this so far. I think that's all the chests. Well, let's go take down this Azur Rathalos. Ended up getting another 10 bottle caps on the way to this monster den here. Let's see what kind of eggs we get out of here. Oh, that's gold. And it looks pretty. I wonder, do we get do we get super duper greedy? I think I'm gonna I think I'm gonna take this one for right now. Man, Azur Rathalos is super pretty. And yes, it is using power attacks to start off with, which is really nice. We're also going to be using Fergie, our rather powerful Nergagante, only level 49, but this thing is basically unkillable, which is really nice. I got a, a, a really nice build going on for this, and I show also how to get it before you get into high rank. So if you want a very powerful monster, make sure to keep an eye out for that video tomorrow and subscribe for more. Ooh, look at that damage, baby. This Azur Rathalos ain't gonna stand a chance. We're gonna do the SR version after this too, so y'all know what to expect when you get into the SR version. So that way you don't accidentally waste your tickets. Uh, but Azur Rathalos is relatively straightforward. It's not something we really have to be concerned about. What I really like about this uh, Nergagante though, is what we can do is we can use Calamity Smash right now, which allows it to do a ton of damage, but then also heals itself every turn after that too and we've got blast fire chaser let's uh go ahead and do that see how that does this is a new hammer that i got at the end of the last live stream which is uh pretty nice deadly horn jab from the monoblos look at this calamity smash boom 528 damage and then we're gonna auto heal ourselves for like over 100 hp per turn now look at that fergie just ain't nothing gonna happen to that bad boy. And wham bam, thank you ma'am. Also, make sure to bring flash pods for this. When Azur Rathalos gets in the air, flash it out of the sky, and you're able to do a ton of damage to it. So, easy peasy lemon squeezy on that front. And we got some more Rathalos parts. I will be showing a very, very important trick for the super rare ticket right after this though. Um, so definitely make sure to watch that before using your ticket for the first time. So we got a, a gold one, which is not bad. Let's see if we can maybe get a rainbow out of here. What kind of eggs are we getting as a whole? 
that's what we're looking for right there, ladies and gentlemen. We got ourselves a gold Palamute egg. Look at this beautiful thing. Oh, it's it's amazing. I wonder what kind of element it's going to be. Maybe fire because of the color? Let's hatch it out. Before we get into the very important tip, I want to hatch this egg and I want to see what we get. Especially when it comes into the stats on these bad boys. I believe this is... Hold on, I want to see what this is too. I think this is a pink Rathian. Which I've been wanting on my team, so I'm thinking that's what it is. Hey, there it is. She's beautiful. Look, she actually really is beautiful as a little baby. It's adorable. Okay. Palamute. Fire type? I don't know. There's all of the different elements, though. Oh my god, it's so freaking cute! Oh no! It is a fire type. Oh my god, the stats on these are insane! What? We've got Slugger L and Fire Boost L, with Fire Breath as our one skill on there right now. Oh my god, but wait, those... That thing was actually really... It had a lot of HP. So the rarity is 5 on here. We've got 72 max HP. So does Rathian have an H HP boost on her anywhere? No. So starting HP. So 45 attack, 19 defense. Maybe a little bit worse than a pink Rathian. Uh, because we do have a fire boost right here on the Palamute. We've got fire breath, burning fang. Which is the chomp gene. Deals medium fire damage to one enemy. Chance to inflict burn. We've got uh, fierce heat. Slightly increases user fire attack and defense, a fire boost large, and slugger large. Oh, it also knows jump and ivy climb? That is so nice to have on just one. Oh, that's perfect. Okay, that is amazing. But now let's get into the tip before you use your super rare Palamute ticket. What I recommend doing is going into your house or really anywhere that you can save. Just go ahead and set up a new save game. We're going to create one, I guess, right here. So we'll do this. We're we'll over overwrite this save. So that way, if we use our super rare Palamute ticket and we don't get the one that we want, or we're hunting for a rainbow, then we can just reload that save and we'll still have our ticket. This comes in really handy because we don't know exactly what we're going to get from this right now. And I want to make sure that we also have our charm for finding so we can find rare eggs. We have that activated for another 31 minutes. And now we can freely do this super rare ticket and not really even be worried about not getting anything we don't want. Because we can always just reload that save and potentially farm it up until we get exactly what we want. One of the reasons I'm making sure that we don't waste this ticket is I'm thinking we're going to get some really, really good monsters out of here. I don't know if it's going to be a chance of even getting like Deviants and Elder Dragons from this den. But if it is possible, we definitely want the option to re-farm it if we, if we can, right? Now, I don't know if with this super rare ticket, if we're going to have a chance to get Elder Dragons or Deviants from this den. But on the off chance that we can, I definitely want to make sure we save it so that we can refarm it. If it does end up giving us some super rare stuff. So we've also got Nergi here, which has Roar. Which should help us not having to fight everything here. Also, the person with us also has Roar. So we're pretty much just protecting each other. Every time we go for something, we just roar for each other. And we shouldn't have to fight anything, which is just a really nice combo. Well, we've got a couple different dens here. Ooh. We've got a sand off in there. Alright, what are we getting for eggs? Our PC partner got disconnected. Oh, a rainbow pink Rathian egg. We're going to keep going. Ooh, this is the same one that we just got. I don't know if we want to go for a different element. It's rainbow, though. I'm going to take it because it's rainbow. We have three other options in here for eggs. We're definitely going to not settle for the same quality, though. I want to get a different element. What do we get out of the second one? Ooh, this one's blue and a rainbow. All right. <laughs> Yeah, I'm taking it. Looks like it's going to probably be ice. It's a little light blue. I think a dark blue would mean water, so I'm assuming this one's ice. Yep, and it's a soggy fanged beast egg. So it's soggy means maybe it's maybe it's actually water. 
We've got one more den here before the final boss fight and the final den. Ew. I don't know what you were, but you're not something I want. Ooh. All right. It's another rainbow one. And I can't tell. Maybe it'll be electric? So we've just got to take out this Azur Rathlos again. Doesn't seem like it's any more difficult or anything like that. And then we can get another egg. Hopefully another different uh, type as well. Oh, I'm excited to see how much damage this is going to go. This is with kinship large increase. And it's going to be a double kinship attack. If Rathalos lives through this, I will be dumbfounded. Oh, it's beautiful. A deviant and an elder dragon coming together as one to murder their foe. <laughs> bye bye The moment of truth. What do we get? Oh, wait. Is this a different color than the one we already got? I can't tell if it's a darker blue or not. We're just going to keep digging. Oh, that's the darker blue one. All right. There we go. <laughs> I don't think we got one of every type, but we definitely, definitely doing pretty good. All right. Let's hatch these bad boys. See what we get. They're so adorable. I guess I'll just hatch everything at once. <laughs> Come on, baby. Oh, they're so adorable. This is another uh, fire type one. Oh, wow. Much better. We got self heal XL, which I really like. That's what's on the Nergigante. We got fire boost and slugger L. Oh, my God. It's so blue and adorable. <laughs> Oh, uh, it is a water type. And on here, what do we got? We got quick water boost large. Ooh, and dancer XL. Um, so increases speed when at full HP, but it also greatly boosts attack and defense. Look at the green boyo. <laughs> this one's the electric type. So we've got anti paralysis, salt in the wound, and thunder boost with thunder fang on here. And then we got the blue one. Is this is this gonna be this just looks kind of normal? Is it the element? Ah, it is the elementless version. So we got non-elemental attack boost large, soul kinship large, inflict rate up XL. We got sharpened blades and thousand blades on this bad boy. Wow. So they are all of a speed type. We don't have two, we're missing two. Which is interesting. So crit rate extremely high on all versions. Recovery is low. Max HP is not great, uh, but they're very speedy as well, which is kind of nice. Uh, elementals, pretty decent across the board, especially. I mean, there's just going to be something that you're going to want to have in your team no matter what. Come on, boy, dash, leap to the skies. Now slice the wind with your blade and rain inky black destruction on your foes. Oh, my God. Hello. Ah, so we only get a so we get a couple different types of things. Soul Kinship XL fills up the gauge fast. So the genes that we get on here, nothing too crazy. Slugger gene, self heal gene for the XL genes on this one. Then we got Dancer gene XL, which I actually think is pretty darn good. On the on this one, we get anti shock and salt on the wound. I'm curious what we get from the other two for the XL genes, but so far so good. Well, I gotta say, they are indeed adorable and, you know, quite frankly, just really useful to have between the jump and ivy climb. That takes care of two things that you're going to need when traveling around through pretty much anything in early or post game. And uh, I don't think they're going to be too weak either. Obviously, they don't have like the greatest like genes to farm up, but the genes they do have are particularly good, especially for the elements that they represent. So, I don't know. Let me know what you all think in the comments below. Uh, but yeah, super excited about this. Can't wait for the update at the end of the month, bringing even more monsters to the game as well. Uh, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you all in the next one.